we can here in Brisbane and we've come to Queensland because we need to talk about Kevin. So what's happening with the K-Rod Factor here in Queensland? Is it helping or is it going to hinder the Labor Party? We're heading along to K-Rod's own electorate to talk to the good people on the ground there to see what they reckon. Um, a few recent polls have shown the PM trailing in his own seat. Does that sound right to you, Scott? Yes. <laughs> really? You're not surprised? Not surprised at all. No, no. But it was a safe seat. Um, it was, wasn't it? It was. So what um, do you think? Where's it gone wrong? Oh, I, I, I think he just appears quite fake. He is, um, what you see in real life is not what you get. While the people of Griffith might be kind of proud to have our national leader based here, uh, his, his performance has been mixed. I haven't found much love yet for the PM in his own seat, but I'm sure there'll be at least a few supporters up at the shops. I've known Kevin since I was a little girl. Like, I've grown up in this area, I've been around this area my entire life, and I can't, I've never got the impression that he's fake at all. Claire, you mentioned that um, you've had a few people talk to you about this front page this morning. Time to zip, that's what the Courier Mail is saying. Another poll apparently showing the PM trailing in his own seat. From what you've heard from people here this morning, do you think that this actually reflects what's going on here? Yeah, well, I mean, not at all. We've had a fair few people coming from the news agent just up there and they talk about the papers every weekend almost and they've shown us the Australian, the Korean Mail, even the Financial Review and just saying, this just doesn't seem like right. Every weekend it's just getting worse and worse and worse and they're just worried about the impact the papers are having on people in the area and just Australia in general in terms of how the vote's going. I've been under orders not to talk. So how come they don't want you talking? Um, because if I say something negative, although I'm not going to say anything negative, it's all positive about this campaign. Um, you'd be surprised at how many barps and waves. So, and so, so what happens when I ask you a tricky question like, how's the coalition going to pay for their parental leave scheme? Can you give me an answer? Um, I'm not going to give you an answer. Okay, but all I all So what I happens do, when a voter comes up and asks you that? If do you give voter, them an answer? I could say to them, well, there has been a lot of waste in the, uh, the Labor Party. I heard it yesterday, Alan Jones on the uh, radio was, there's a lot of waste. I don't think education is waste. I certainly don't think things that they've already cut, like the arts are waste. They're essential to who we are as Australians and essential to you know, the infrastructure in our culture. We're currently seeing what's happening here in Queensland with those cuts, and we don't want that Australia-wide. Both of my media tarts. <laughs> what about Kevin Rudd? He's your local member. Uh, what are your thoughts on him? Well, he's a nice up-front dude, but like a, any politician, like I say, they can't lie straight in bed. What they say and what they do is another thing. Another famous Queenslander has got his own party this election. This is Bob Catter. What are your thoughts on him and his new party? Oh, Bob comes from the country and believes in country ideals and oh, I reckon that's a good thing. Ah, good, on, good on Bob. So we've left Kevin Rudd's electorate and we're now heading into the seat of Brisbane. It used to be a safe Labor seat. It was held by them for over 20 years before it went to the Liberal National Coalition in 2010 with a swing of about 5%. So it's the kind of seat that the Labor Party would have been hoping to take back once Kevin Rudd became leader again. One thing that the Labor Party is focusing on their, in their campaign is the fact that Campbell Newman cut a lot of jobs here in Queensland, particularly in the healthcare system yeah. where you were. Yeah. I mean, are you worried that that could happen if Tony oh, Abbott gets yeah, into def government? Yeah, definitely. That's, I mean, he said straight out that that was his plan and that's a big concern for me. I, had lo I lost lots of co-workers at work and our funding is just abysmal um, and it, it's affecting our frontline work, um, frontline jobs. If any more frontline jobs are going to be cut, it's, it's a scary thought what's going to happen in our hospitals. I've got mates that work public service and, and they're really worried about their jobs at the moment. The Labor Party has totally lost direction. And it has been. It's rubbish. It's Compared rubbish. to what it was years ago. Yeah, it, yeah, but you can't compare it with years ago. Just been through bad times everywhere around the world. We've come out of it on top. Tony Abbott's a deal. I honestly in. believe that all He's the deal. quality of either leader. Yeah, that's but why you, there's so many people swinging away from both. We're parties. not electing the leader. We're electing the government. Yeah, that's I know. But you know, if you look at Labor, there's only one person out there marketing it, and that's um, Ruddy. Where's Swanee? 
Have you seen Swanee? No, I've seen Swanee, but I'm not worrying about it. Yeah, but he it, it's, was it's, the treasurer. It's, Where it's is collectively he how we've gone. And if you want me to go on about the Liberal Party, all they'll do is get us involved in another war. Can we delete this? Another war? Well, you have a look at it. Ever since I've well, been. Can you just film me earth, bowling? Who will have your vote then? A Labour, no question. And why is that? Because of the policies on uh, internet and marriage equality, and that's literally it. Here in Queensland, there's a few new parties that are running this election. Bob Catter's Australian Party is one of them. Clive Farmer's putting up a few candidates. What would you think if Bob Catter held the balance of power in the Senate? Um, it'd be a bit scary. So, James, before you went into politics, uh, you were a rodeo star, is that true? I wouldn't say star, but I definitely uh, had my hand at rodeo for about two to three years. So tell me, what does Bob Catter's Australia Party stand for? Uh, definitely uh, en ending the nanny state, creating jobs, not just jobs in general, but secure jobs and more jobs for Australians. Our agricultural industry has slowly dwindled away due to the Coles and Woolworths monopoly. And you guys are also against free trade, is that right? Free trade has is certainly hurting us. Um, Australia must be one of the very few countries in the world where there is free trade. If your party holds a balance of power in the Senate, do you reckon you'll repeal the carbon tax or vote with the coalition to do that? We would like to, but Again, you know, it's easier said than done. I don't know if there's any booby traps as such that will make it hard to remove the carbon tax, but certainly going to give it a go because it is hurting everyone. What do you make of the Bob Catter Australia Party or the Clive Palmer uh, Party? Queensland always throws up um, weird and unusual characters in um, politics. It just sort of it seems to be we, Queensland does it better than any, any other state in that way.